I think you really like the super, super flavorful things. But that's what life's about. Oh, 100%, 100%. Flavor. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Godfrey and today's a special one because I'm going to be eating everything on the Marugami Udon menu. Oh, it's a lot of food today, so I thought, you know what, let me change things up and bring my friend along. So I'm going to bring along Seppi. Hi, um, Thank you for you're having gonna, me. <laughs> you're going to be helping me eat everything on the Marugami Udon menu today. Mm -hmm. I love it. I've been a few times. I literally went last week and I'm obsessed. It's great. We'll see because I've never tried it myself. Mm -hmm. They've been in the UK since 2021 and they're actually from Japan. They're actually the biggest fast food chain in Japan and now they've come over here to the UK. Okay, should we get the food out? Let's do it, let's, let's do go. it! Yeah, I'm so excited! This is everything on the Marugami Udon menu. We've got your bowls of udon, we've got the fried tempura stuff, we've got some dessert. I don't know where to start. I, I think we should just close our eyes and go that one. You're the guest, you oh. go pick one. This one. So we've got here the curry udon. Oh, vegan! <laughs> vegan. Ooh! Ooh. The first thing, you open that lid, the mm. smell was, it's, the smell has flooded the room already. Oh, okay. look at these noodles. This is gonna be a long day, Sophie. I'm, I'm, I, I can oh, use no. chopsticks, but. <laughs> I'm, I, I can oh, use no. chopsticks, but. Cheers. Mm. The quality of these udon noodles are amazing. They absorb the flavor a lot, which I like. Obviously, I don't know what's traditional, but I would love the, if the sauce was a bit thicker. The potato and the carrot goes well with the, the, the sauce. I agree. Um, and you can't go wrong. If you want a quick and simple thing to eat, it is a bit messy. Yeah. But I do like it. But delightful. I definitely would order this again. Let's try this beef. Ooh. Ooh. One I have not had. Whoa. Oh, look at that egg. Yeah, I've never had a poached egg in a noodle dish though. Mm -hmm. How is it? I love it. Look, the, oh. the, beef, the beef looks great. The sauce, uh, the sauce is saucing. Cheers. <laughs> it's like a sweet teriyaki mm -hmm. kind of vibe. It's quite a British taste in a way. Beef and onion, I feel like it's a very UK like combination. But the sweetness is not. I'd say whatever that sauce is, that really, really, really helps with the, the beef. Be the BK sauce, right? Yeah. <gasps> it just takes it to another level. I'm on cloud nine. Let's try a chicken one, I think. Go on. It doesn't pack off crazy flavor, but because they've used chicken thigh, I think it, it's really juicy and tender. Because at the moment, it's just sat on top of the noodles. Mm. You can taste a bit of the broth. Tricky. Oh my word, look at this big chunk of chicken. So, but wow. then I've got no noodle. I've never been so happy to be splattered broth on my face before. <laughs> that broth is really nice. For me, I personally can't taste it as much I think like what, on the side mm. without the broth. Like obviously if you have a spoon and you can like yeah. eat between and that will really help it. If you're a fan of like chicken soup, this yes. is like that just with the added udon. I think it, it, you know, if you really wanted to spice it up, then add some yes. heat, some spice. I would definitely order it again. Prawn tempura, yeah. This is one of my favorite sides. I love this. And the thing I love about this is that the batter is nice and light. Like, I love having it in the soup because it soaks up the like broth as well. Right, I think yeah. that would be really nice with the chicken one. They're quite Big. Look at these bad boys. Yeah, hench. You know what? This is a one bite for me, you know? One? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I watching this? It does seem a bit more on the healthier side of like deep fried tempura. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do wish the, 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 the batter itself had a bit more flavor. For me, these are a perfect accompaniment to like any of these main mm. dishes. I think next, what we're going to try is spicy pork omosubi. It's literally a little present. So we've got pork on the inside mm. and pork on the top. Yeah. So it's basically throughout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does feel like it needs a bit more pork. Because now, right now, I've just got a mouthful of rice. In here, we've got the chicken tenders, gyozas, and karage. Ooh, I yum. flipping love karage. All right, let's try the chicken tenders first. The batter I really like. It's very different to your typical like fried chicken scenario or tender. Because I feel like mm. it's usually breaded. If I'm not mistaken, you can tell they've used like the tempura batter, which is nice, but I think I'm going to prefer the karage a lot more. This is like unseasoned chicken. Gyoza. Let's go, gyoza time. Mm. Yeah. It just has all that flavor. Yeah, it's all that flavor of like all the what you flavor. get from like an onion and chive kind of dumpling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All in this gyoza. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's nice. This is why I always get the gyozas when I go because I know it's going to be a nice punch of flavor. Now the last one, which I've not tried here, the karage. Mm. Mm. I can see why these are so popular. 
Me too. Mm. You can kind of sense the difference, taste mm. it, see it. It's just so tender as well. Like for me, I think it just proves having a different cut of chicken makes all the difference as well in the flavor. I do think there's, there's two good things here and then one not so good. All right, let's try BK. <laughs> it's all just sauce and noodles. If you don't like walking into a fish market, this is not the dish this for you. This is not the one, yeah. But I love it. I love fish. Oh, so I use like the assistant. Oh, yeah. look at that. I don't know, this will get a bit sickly for me, you know? Really? Mm. For me, it touched my lips and I was like, ooh, Flavor Town Central. <laughs> I've had this before, and initially I had the same hesitations as you. I was mm. a bit like, I'm not sure, it seems pretty simple, but I love it. Yeah. I can see myself finding this a bit sickly, mm -hmm. but I can appreciate it tastes good at first. Yes. Um, but it's not something I want to finish. This is the signature, I've been told, and I've not yet to be tried this one. Ever oh, since this is the best. Oh, damn. Look. So it was basically that vegan curry dish, but yeah. now with the added bit of chicken on top. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Oy. I hate to say this, but it's like your generic oh. chicken katsu curry. I have to counteract you here. They, they say don't fix anything that isn't broken, right? Yeah. So like, you know it works and you, can't, you know what to expect. Mm. And that's kind of nice. I think if someone's visiting for the first time and they're a bit like, oh, a bit overwhelmed maybe yeah. with the different options, they can look at this and go, they know what they're gonna get. Yeah, this is a good option. I don't think I'd order this again. I knew you'd say that. It's not, uh, it's bad, it's just, I feel like there's exciting, there's more exciting options on the, yeah. on the menu. Bring it to the nose. Oh, I like it. From first impression, I feel like you're not gonna be super like in love with this one, based off the chicken one. I think you really like the super, super flavorful things. But that's what life's about. Oh, 100%, 100%. Flavor. I agree, I agree. <laughs> I will say though, these noodles are long. Yeah, they are. Plain. This is like what you would serve children. Do you know, no, like, do you know what I mean? You're not gonna hurt their stomach. You're not gonna make them upset. Yeah. This is like the base level. It's probably my least favorite out of the ones we've had. Mm. However, I think the broth, for a vegan thing, I think it packs like a nice flavor. It's nothing much, it's very subtle. Like it is just like a little pat on the shoulder. But for me, I really would need the extra bits on the like yeah. on the customization table to just jazz us up a little bit more. You've got chicken katsu with fish cake. I love fish cake. I've actually never had the fish cake from here. To me, this is what I'd expect from like a chicken katsu. Like mm -hmm. it's good, the, the flakiness is there on the batter. There's a nice, I'd say the ratio is very nice between the chicken and the batter. It's good. I mean, I'd order it again. Yeah. Because I'm a fish cake. Cheers. This, out of all the things we've had, I think would work so well in any of these. And now that it's just in tempura form, I think oh. this is my favorite form of, of fish cake now. This is probably like the best side that you can get alongside your udon. Whoa, whoa, Looking whoa. at it, it doesn't look like there's much on the inside. True. It's just one on the top. I feel like it's gonna be 90% rice, 10% corn. Okay, shall we? Cheers. I don't think I could eat this one solo. I think I need a side of like a sauce or like a dip to like dunk it in. Oh, yeah. This is just wasabi and rice. <laughs> What is that? I'm not having another bite though. I'm, not, I'm telling you that now. I'm not gonna. Wait, have... my nose itches. Yeah, but you, if you don't like wasabi, this isn't for you. And the, like on the flavor scale, the others were like down here, but this one's like off screen. Just pure wasabi. Like. I'm like, oh, I feel like I've been punched in the face seven times in a row, and my nose is like someone's put up a little feather dust up my nose and good. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Like a guy. It looks like a guy in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> It's the same situation as the, they've just used the chicken tender and cut up the smallest bit and put hella rice around it. Okay, let's try the, the kake. When I'm not craving something super heavy, this is like a good option. Right? It isn't really exciting, but it's one of those things that I bet people have when they've just had a long day, mm -hmm. it's simple to set up, mm -hmm. get on the plate and munch, watch, sit in front of the TV and whatnot. This one, I could have a large plate of this and not feel sick of it consistently. Mm. Like the BK one's very rich, whereas this one just feels more like a light whisper. For me, I don't think I'd finish the whole bowl because mm. there's just not enough to it. Yeah. Let's do beef curry now. Beef. Ooh! Whoa! Ooh, okay. That smells really good. I'm a fan of this one. Wow. Come on. Oh! The beef, yeah, is delicious. Mm. The curry is delicious. Mm. Together, I don't know. Mm. I just feel like one, the curry just taste just takes over the beef. And then it's mm. like, you're not, you're not getting that nice flavor from that the beef originally has. I think the sauce is kind of needed. I've never had the beef from Marigami, so I'm very pleasantly surprised. But I, I think it kind of needs a bit of that 
marinated yeah. kind of like flavor. Time for the pork. Ooh. ooh. Oh, Nick, I love it. Ooh. But what I like about the broth is that it's got the, the oily spots of spice. Mm, mm. That's always a good sign. I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling we saved the best for last. This one's really good. Yeah. It's got everything. It's got your egg. It's got two types of meat with different textures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's got a good broth. Can't go wrong with this one. It's I got really the like... flavour as well. Mm. It's got a spice to it. But yeah, I could order this without any of the sides and be very satisfied. So you know what? Let's start with the courgette. If you're not a fan of courgette, I like courgette, but like when it's mixed with other things, yeah. by itself is just too much. I butternut don't... squash. I love the butternut squash. The texture, the flavour is kind of similar. I really like this. I've ordered this on the side. It's very dense. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But I wouldn't usually get this with like one of the beef or chicken kind of porky dishes because I think it gets a bit too much for me. But I think the flavour's there. It's good. I actually really like this. I, I like do. I like that it's filling mm -hmm. and there's a lot there, you know, you're not feeling like you're only getting a little bit per bite. 100 percent I think it's very worth. Now, next one is a sweet potato tempura. See, can I just say all these side dishes have been very generous portions. Like, they're not small. What I love is that the, the, the sweet potato is a bit more overcooked, mm. whereas this, I feel is a bit slightly undercooked. I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it's been in the fryer long enough. Right. Yeah. That's I, all, that's my only complaint, but the flavours are there and so the tempura is there. So yeah, I think it's it. beautiful. It feels like my pillow's blanket, at home. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this is banging. This is really good. The custard is great and the flavours overall are oh. just... These are both really good. I feel like they've got really high quality ingredients mm. and put them all in this. For me, my favourite noodle one has to hands down be the pork tonkotsu. Like, mm -hmm. it was the best all rounder. My favourite would have to be the beef nikotama. Oh, 100%. That, that was like up there for me. But mm. the spicy pork one that you said was good. Loved it. I think the beef curry one was probably the better one. Yeah. Um, anything with that, mm -hmm. with the beef was a one. What about the sides? What are some of your favourite sides? Mm. Yeah. For me, shout out to the Gyozas. I'm a big Gyoza girl. They were great. They packed a lot of flavour. The fish cakes were good though. Yeah! Mm. Oh. Fish cakes, we try everything on the menu so you don't have to. And hopefully you find your own favourite when you yes. go to Marigami you don't. I've got mine now and definitely. I know Seppi's even, you've changed your order. Oh, right? I've definitely changed my order and I go there all the time. Yeah. So if you have a combination, let us know in the comments. We want to know yours and maybe we'll try it in the future.